Hello, this is Last Garden Standing with Lucinda. I'm going to do a video right now on uh, melons, but first I'm going to show you how they are now, and then later I'm going to show you how they're growing. We have watermelons here. There's like one, two, and three over there, and there might be more little ones coming in too. There's my fairy. She's bringing good luck to my melon patch. There is orange flesh melon, which is quite different. It's very sweet. And here's a bunch of starts. We're going to get a ton. Here's a bunch of little ones right in here. Over here is an Israelite melon, which is also different. It, uh, there it is right there. There's one. And here's one as well. And we have a ton of little starts in there too. I just want to show you these little starts. There's like tons of them in there. There's, here, here they are. There's like four or five right here. They look like that right now. There's one right there. But the ones I really want to show you, they have just done awesome, these melons, is right down here. You can see them. There's one, two, three great big ones. And here's a fourth one that's just huge. It's turning yellow right now. But we're going to follow up on this, and we're going to show you more later. This is just the beginning. They're now starting to grow, so I'll show you more. Here's later. the update on my melons. I want to start with my watermelon here. We have this one that's coming along good, but that one is doing good too. That started out just this big. It was really, really doing good. It's growing. This is a new one that popped up that I didn't even know about till last week. This one is doing good, but I want to show you that brown spot. Uh, I lost a melon that was about this big, which I feel real bad about. It was sun split. It just got too hot. And what happened was, is I had my melons, all of them over here, up on cans. And I think with the can and the sun in Utah's 90 degree weather, it just got too hot. So be careful of that. I do like to raise my things up off the ground because of the insects and all of that. And I like to make sure they have some airflow. There's holes in here. Make sure that it doesn't get too hot. So I've done that. These are my melons, the update. Over here is a orange flesh melon. And you can see, look at that brown spot. That too got too hot, but now I've got them on plastic. Rotate them every few days. Make sure you turn them so they ripen evenly. Is ears relight melons. They're pretty green right now, so we want to keep turning them. And that one's a little bit further along. That actually has a brown spot too. So I'm turning those. So that's all in here. The foliage is beautiful. Over here, we have the cantaloupes. And there, there's a couple here that's really, really green still, but this one's yellow. So it won't be long and that's gonna come out really good. It's gonna just fall from the vine. Here's a big one right here. It's probably the next one. I've got it up off the ground and just sitting on these two items. But once again, it's on plastic or it's gonna be on a brick. Uh, here's the foliage in here. Here's another one. There's actually quite a few in there that we can't see that are smaller. I don't know if they'll have time, but Either way, they're coming along just fine, and we will continue this later. Hello, I'm back again, um, and I wanted to show you my Israeli melons because they're really coming along good. I've already cut into one, but this is the green. This is what they look like green. They're right down here. See, it looks like something's eating that, and I already lost one to that, and I'll show you a picture of that later. But what they are is they look like a cantaloupe, but they taste like a honeydew, even sweeter. Very sweet flesh. In fact, the flesh is kind of a lime green, really. It's almost white. And we're gonna cut one open. This is the one that's ripe, right down there. It is definitely ready, but you can see it has the rinds and the lines like a cantaloupe. There's a few more that's over here too and in hidden in here. But uh, that's the one that's ripe right now. So in a minute, I'm gonna cut that for you. But for now, I wanna go to the other melon that we have, I have grown. And that is uh, the orange flesh melon right here. 
it is not quite ready but it also looks like a honeydew it's the opposite looks like a honeydew but and it has orange flesh like a cantaloupe but yet it's very very sweet so i'm disappointed that i only got one next year i hope i can get more of them and i wish i could cut that open but perhaps later at a different time i also wanted to talk a little bit about how i grew them i started them in the house about three or four weeks before the last frost uh, i think they did they do better at starts because they have all this time to grow really outside then and they, at least I got this many that I have uh, from doing that in the house. Uh, I also want to tell you another trick. I like raising them. These were up higher too over there. But I like raising them like on containers like this. All that is is just a pot that I turned upside down. At first, see and there's one. Some of them are on the ground but I just recently took them off. I like to lift them up so they can get plenty of sun and then um, also in the nighttime it cools them off. Now my watermelons here, they grew but they're not ready at all yet. And this is the container like thing right there. At first I had them on cans, I think I mentioned this once before, and they got sun split. So I had one bigger than that. And I feel sick about it because it got sun split and it just ruined it. And that was because it got too hot on the cans. So I don't want to do that. Also, and you guys don't do that either, but it's nice to get them off the ground. Now we're going to cut this Israeli melon right there. We're going to try it. I'm going to take it over to the table and we're going to see what it looks like inside. One thing I'm going to show you on picking it, if you just pull that stem right out, it should go good and quickly. If it does, you know it's ready. If it's a little hard, it might have, could have waited a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and cut it anyway. So let's try that. Let's see. Okay. It came off pretty good. It could have waited maybe a little bit, but let's see how it is. All right, we're gonna cut it. Now there's this way to cut it, but I think it's gonna be better to cut it the long way and, oh, it's cutting really easy. Really, 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 really easy. So let's see here. Look at that. Almost white flesh. This is very, very ready. It's going to be so good. It's, it's very sweet. In fact, it's much sweeter than a honeydew will ever be. So, and see how easy those seeds come out? It's almost look kind of a lime whitish flesh. So we're going to just take those seeds out. Then I'm going to cut it up and let the whole family eat it. I wish you could eat some too, but grow your own. They are the sweetest melon you'll ever taste. Thank you for watching Last Garden Standing. This is Lucinda and at least I got this good melon, a couple of good melons out of the deal. Hopefully next year I'll do better. Share, like, subscribe, and yes, comment. I need your comments.